We begin tonight with a tragic situation that developed this afternoon in West Ishpeming. It involves the death of a student who died by suicide. We are sharing details of this incident because it happened in a public setting. Out of sensitivity to the family and community, personal information about the student is not being released. Local 3's Haley Schoengar joins us live tonight from Aspen Ridge Elementary School. Haley. Rebecca, this is a very difficult time for the West Ishpeming community. A student here at Aspen Ridge School has lost their life through suicide. Law enforcement were called to the school just before 1 p.m. today. The school was then placed on lockdown. MSP tells us no threats were made to other students or faculty, and the incident was isolated to the one student involved. When I arrived, state police and other agencies were here as parents came to pick up their children. Now, nice community schools will be closed tomorrow. Tomorrow and grief counseling will be available at Christ King Lutheran Church in Ishpeming beginning at 9 a.m. Michigan State Police did release a press release to us about the incident earlier today. Now that release does contain graphic details, so viewer discretion is advised when reading that. That full release can be found on our website, upmatters.com. Reporting live from West Ishpeming, Haley Shongart, Rebecca, back to you. Thank you, Haley. And this is not the first UP student who has lost their life to suicide this year. We want you to know that there is help available. You could call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline at 1 800 273 8255. You can also contact Dial Help, which is based in Houghton, at 800 562 7622 or 906 482 Help. Or you can also send a text message to 906 356 3337. And join W. WJMN Local 3 for the broadcast premiere of Do It For Daniel on Thursday, May 5th. Daniel Olson was an all-state athlete at Ishpeming High School. After years of battling anxiety and depression, he completed suicide in 2012. Ten years later, his story is being used to highlight those struggles and serve as a message of hope. During our 6 p.m. hour newscast, you'll hear from Daniel's father, Jeff Olson, with the documentary beginning at 7. Then you're invited to join an online roundtable discussion with Jeff and local healthcare professionals.